This is our 8th video in our JavaScript video tutorials. These videos are brought to you by Kodo Island. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about JavaScript conditions. I'm going to jump right ahead to Dreamweaver for a concrete example. So I'm going to declare a variable and call it position. And I'm going to give a position the value manager. And I'm going to jump for a check statement, an if statement, if position equals equals manager, uh, then parse to the browser, document that write, uh, hello manager. So I'm going to save that and hit the browser so it said hello manager let's remove the R from the end of the word manager and rehit the browser and nothing happens let's remove one of the equals instead you're wondering why I put double equal and it does say hello manager so as you can see double equal double checks uh, makes it an exactly equal equal so the both th uh, strings can uh, be equally the same size, the same string, and everything. So you need to keep uh, your heads up about that. Uh, let's take another example. And in this example, we're gonna take something a little more advanced. Uh, we're gonna make a var and uh, name it d and equal new date. So we're gonna use the var the date function that is provided for us in JavaScript. Remember JavaScript is a case sensitive language. Date needs to be capital. And we're gonna make a var t uh, sorry about time and we're gonna give it d dot get hours. So as you can see um a dream river really helped me out right there and we're gonna check if time uh, if time is less than 10 uh, document that right document that right uh, with a bolt uh, good uh, morning uh, let me close the ball right there and close the statement and uh, close the if statement and I guess this is fine so let me run, uh, run that so since the time is practically uh, at night right now it's 9 p.m. so nothing's gonna happen so let me make the condition vice versa and run the browser as you can see it checked for the condition um, so let me take the example a little further and let's do it like if time equals equals 11 for example then document dot write it's lunch time of course it's not 11 right now so nothing's gonna happen but still I thought it's a good idea to show you how to use the equal equal um what else what else what else we can do we can make an if else statement so uh, we already had got those and we're gonna make an if else statement uh, if time is less than 10 uh, then document dot write uh, good morning um, else uh, document dot write sorry about that uh, good night so we're gonna check for that and we're gonna close the else statement 
Um, I hope that works. It was supposed to say good night, and it didn't. Let me check what uh, where is my error right there. So if time is less than ten, um, then document dot write good morning. This is one of the errors. I made two parentheses. Uh, so it's supposed to write right now, good night, and it worked. So this is our condition uh, tutorial for you. I hope you benefited from this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel. If you got any questions, please refer to the forum. And this was Roberto. We with you brought to you by Coral Island. Thank you.